welcome back to the channel thank you so much for joining today i wanted to talk about basically my daily routine that is working from home i am super grateful that i have the privilege to work from I am super grateful that I have the opportunity to work from home and I have been working from home for about the last nine months or so now. So let's dive into the pros and cons of working from home. The expectations versus reality. There's a lot of great that comes from working from home, but uh, you know, there's some other downfalls that you don't really see in hindsight. And I can't really speak to anyone else's experience except my own, an introverted 20 year old living alone with one pet cat. The first pro that I'm going to talk about is more comfort. I like the ability to dress from the waist up. Am I wearing pants right now? You'll never know. I can count the number of times that I've worn real pants or shoes on one hand, but you cannot deny the comfort of working from home. Work clothing is very stuffy, fits very tight. You have to get your shirts pressed. They have to look presentable and iron. Yeah, I'll take the comfort of my own home and my pixelated camera will cover up any stains I may have dropped during my messy lunch. Uh, the second pro here is uh, freedom of time or more so the freedom for optimization. Let me clarify. I love being efficient with my time and there are certain things that have to do with the commute to work, being around the work environment that I feel like is not very an efficient use of my time. When you're at work, the entirety of that time you're spent at work. Whereas at home, you could multitask, like play with your cat at the same time that you're on a large conference call. But everyone agreed that the freedom of time is of the utmost importance. By the way, thank you to anyone who, by the way, I did ask this on Instagram. So thank you anyone who had any suggestions. The common answer was definitely the comfort of being at home, but the biggest con was distractions. Another pro is saving money. When I pulled you guys on Instagram, no commute was one of the biggest pros. You know sometimes that morning hour traffic can really put you in a bad mood right before work. Not only are there toxic drivers, but you have to deal with the morning rush, someone flipping or cutting you off on the way, or forbid there's an accident that doubles your commute time. Or after work, if you live far away, you might get stuck in evening traffic as well. So now it's not only eight to five, but it's also, like I said, that buffer before and after work as well. Talk about saving money. I live dangerously. Now on the topic of saving money, some might say that you end up spending more on other things. For example, utilities. You might end up using your own bathroom, electricity, and water a lot more than when you're actually in the office. And that does add up. And saving money, this might just be me, I'm not too sure, but I'm less tempted to go out to eat when I'm at home. When I was at work, I would be way more tempted to go out multiple times a week. I love that I can take my full hour of lunch and take the time to whip up a fresh and healthy meal for myself. I love that I have the opportunity to cook and do it properly. Cons. One of the biggest cons is how easily distracted you can be at home. It's hard to remain efficient the entire time when you're at home. You associate your home with relaxation, which is why you always have to make sure you have a dedicated workspace to make sure you keep those boundaries. There are a million reasons that we can get distracted. For example, the fridge can be only 10 steps away. When you're at work, you're reliant on whatever snacks you may have brought that day. But at home, the cabinet and fridge are fully stocked and available for you all day long. Combine that with the fact that there's a lot less exercise when you're working from home. And if you're not careful, that can lead to some extra pounds. Another one is you can get lonely. You can easily isolate yourself. Lack of interaction, even for an introvert, can get kind of lonely. Not only for socialization, but for networking with other coworkers as well, which can be really important for career development. You could be missing out on that when there's more of a barrier between you and your coworkers. You might even be missing out on subtle learning experiences that you can get in the work environment from other people. Being lonely can also maybe lead to complacency because you get stuck in your usual routine. Another con is burnout. I swear, sometimes I be forgetting what day it is. Is it Monday or Thursday? It looks the same to me. It's wake up, work, entertainment, repeat, repeat, repeat. It's like Squidward when he's in that like heaven world time loop thing. That's what it feels like. Another thing is boundaries. Another con aside from the being distracted is it could be hard to turn off the work button. Like for example, 
What if you get sick? God forbid with COVID, but say you get sick. People would maybe assume you're already working from home. Why can't you work when you're sick? It could be hard to convince yourself to take days off because you don't want to take advantage of the work from home situation. Another con is, are you even going outside? I really never even leave my house nowadays. I made a list of things that I leave my house for. One is um, food, groceries, and the other is coffee. And uh, I don't even know if those are two separate categories, but that's it, that's the end of the list. Like after work, I already sat at my desk a lot, but I, I sit at my desk like all day now, which is absolutely terrible. Lunch was always the nice little break between work. You're finally done with being like groggy from the morning. And lunch is like the big pick me up of the day. As much as I consider this a pro because I get to make lunch from home now and save some money, I would also list this as a con because I do miss sometimes when my coworkers would say, hey, we're going to Taco Deli, you wanna come with us? Let's head out for Mexican food and grab a margarita cause it's Friday. Social interaction in the work environment provides encouragement. And that's just a short list of pros and cons from working at home. If you guys have been enjoying the content, please uh, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get the channel to 500 subs. You know, share this with uh, your friend, your family member, your mailman. You can make your pet a Gmail account and subscribe with that channel. Pets are people too. We're gonna do a really cool little Q&A when we get to 500 subs. By the way, thank you guys so much for the interaction with my videos recently. Thank you for all the comments and even the likes on the video. It's been really great so far. And uh, thank you guys so much and I'll catch you in the next one.